Hello, I'm Mike from MusicRadioCreative.com. In this short video, I'll show you how to use some music production techniques to make your jingle sound even better. So here we are in the multi-track of Adobe Audition with all the different stems of a music jingle. Now, the first thing you might notice is, let's listen to that melody. Yeah. Sounds a little bit sort of dry with no presence to it. So the first thing we could do with the melody is add some reverb in the effects rack over here. Head over and make sure you've got the melody track selected and then we'll go for studio reverb and we'll choose the preset Great Hall. Have a listen to the difference. So how is that going to affect things in the overall mix? Let's have a little listen now. Um, what I might actually do here is because it is reducing the volume a little bit, I might turn the output level up just a tiny bit there on the dry and also increase the wet. Let's have a listen to how that sounds on solo. So a huge difference there on the melody. So let's listen first of all without, and then I will apply the reverb as we listen to the jingle. Listen to the difference. So hopefully you did notice a subtle difference there. It just adds a, a clubbier, fuller sound to the overall music production there. Um, let's go to something else. Say we hear our kicks coming in here. And listen before. Say the kicks are too loud. We can always use the amplitude to turn them down a bit. Let's listen now. So as you heard, I was turning them up and turning them down, and it's up to you to really choose how present you want every single instrument to be in your overall mix. Let's go to a crashing cymbal right there. Now, sounds good as it is, but using something like the flanger effect, we can make it even more stereo. Let's increase the stereo phasing to about just around 180 degrees, and maybe turn the feedback and the modulation up. Wow. Gives it that kind of real clubby sound. Let's listen to that in the mix. And maybe turn it up a little bit so we can hear it. Let's go to the, uh, the bar before and turn that crash up. So as you can see, you can already have a play with all the different effects that are afforded you by Adobe Audition and change the sound of a jingle. Now in future videos, I'll be looking into vocals and make sure you get your a cappella vocals if you're ever buying a music radio jingle. Uh, for instance, at Music Radio Creative, we always provide the a cappella versions of jingles. They're so important because it means you can edit and chop and slice the jingles just as you want them to be. Music Radio Creative as you can hear, there's a little bit of chorus on that already. That's a quartet, but you could go for something like uh, Project Nightmare. Music Radio. Whoa, that's uh, crazy. It might sound really strange in your mix. But stick around and make sure, if you haven't done so already, to subscribe to this channel because future videos, I will be showing you how to cut up sung vocals to sound really great on a music jingle.